Besties, BFFs, whatever you call them, who doesn't want a best friend to help you through tough times? Somebody to whom you can tell all your secrets. But what if your best friend had a lot of secrets stowed away in a lot of suitcases? Hollywood, the glitz, the glamour, where stars are born every day. Grew up watching the actors on Friends and I wanted to do what they were doing. Fresh out of high school, Miley Katie, yes, that's her, a brunette then wanted it badly. She left her small town of Bremington, Washington with little money and big dreams. You know, there's a cycle of just spending a lot of money on acting classes. There's headshots. It's difficult. It How quickly up. did you burn through what little money you brought here? Uh, probably six months. <laughs> wow. And you were lonely. I was. Forget Ross and Rachel, Miley needed real friends. Someone in her acting class introduced her to this girl, Lizette Lee, who seemed to have it all. So what did she tell you about herself? She told me that she was the Samsung heiress. And did she appear to have the wealth and trappings of the heiress to the Samsung fortune? She looks the part, she acts the part. She always seemed to have a lot of money. She had a Mercedes, she drove Bentleys. She ran with the crowd befitting an heiress. She said that she went to school with Paris Hilton and Kim Kardashian. And she said that she dated Leonardo DiCaprio mm. and Channing Tatum. She's got good taste. And that's not all. She was an Asian pop star. An Asian pop she, star? Yeah. Songs on the radio? Yeah, she and... said she had number one, number one songs in Korea. Why do you think the, the heiress to the Samsung fortune would be hanging out with you. She said she was looking for someone who wasn't jaded by the town. Or and naive. Yeah. But that naive newcomer and the sophisticated socialite hit it off. We sort of had our own private world. We would just hang out at her place and have drinks and stay up late and talk. She was someone that was one of the really bright spots in my life when not everything was always that great. <laughs> Miley did land some parts, bit parts. Hey, uh, what's the weeps about, Dollface? My life is a wreck. Including this under the table classy cameo. But she was far from making it and was barely scraping by when she says Lizette came to her with a job offer. She said, I want to hire you as my executive personal assistant. She just said, I'll pay you in cash and uh, you'll be working for your best friend and congratulations, you pretty much just won the lottery. That jackpot job? Fly with Lizette on fancy private jets, moving heavy suitcases from Los Angeles to a seedy hotel room in Columbus, Ohio. But what was in the suitcases? And why Columbus, Ohio? Miley didn't ask. She says that was part of the deal, no questions. It, it's difficult to understand why alarm bells didn't go off. I trusted her. We had four years of a very close friendship. What did you think was in the suitcase? Probably money. She said that her family was very involved in some casino business. To be honest, I knew we weren't selling Girl Scout cookies. If lugging mysterious suitcases was bizarre, Miley's other task was downright shady, wiring money, a lot of it, $40,000 through Miley's own personal bank account, all to pay for those lavish private jets. Why would she ask you to put that money in your personal checking account? That was something that I was very uncomfortable about. She said, you know what, your job is so easy, I don't know what you're complaining about. If you want, I would be more than happy to throw a stick down Sunset Boulevard and hit some other dumb broad who would do it for half the money. Miley was in deep. She wanted a life in the fast lane and now she had it. The money was intoxicating, but she was about to discover that she had made a deal with the devil in the city of angels. It smelled like pot on the plane. After we landed, I'd walked in on a conversation that she was having and she said, we need to do something about that smell. This is very dangerous and we can't act like amateurs. Miley, that once innocent aspiring actress from Washington State, was a drug trafficker. I know it might sound hard to believe, but I didn't have that conversation with Lizette that would go something like, when were you going to tell me that we're smuggling drugs? This is illegal. So why didn't you say those things to Lizette? I was very afraid. We were drug dealers, and we were dealing with other drug dealers. 
believe it or not, Miley kept working, kept going on those drug runs. Little did she know her BFF was about to land her a date with a DEA. They were making these flights frequently. They always had a lot of baggage with them, but they always gave a different reason why they were flying to Columbus. All inconsistent if it was just an innocent flight. June 14th, 2010. As Miley and Lizette flew across state lines, DEA agents began preparing for their arrival. We were observing. Once everyone was loaded up, our surveillance units moved in to stop them. I looked up and I saw 30 or so DEA agents. And I looked to my right, and there was a machine gun aimed at my face. Wow. They brought drug dogs out. The drug dog alerted to the presence of the odor of narcotics. At that point, we had reason and sufficient probable cause to search the vehicles. The jig was up. Investigators discovered a jaw dropping 500 pounds of marijuana. That's a lot of suitcases. Over the next few months, law enforcement learned more. That all those trips, many involving Miley, moved more than 7,000 pounds of marijuana, worth more than $3 million. And Miley says she finally realized her faux friend had also been playing a role the whole time. That is when things started to unravel. She'd been lying about everything. A lot of things. Lizette's age, her relationships with stars, her private school background, that pop star career. Miley says so much of what Lizette told her over the last five years were lies. As for that Samsung connection, the company denies any relation to Lizette Lee. Did you feel gullible? I felt like an idiot. <laughs> I mean, I was completely duped. She lied about everything. 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 And I was looking at five to 40 years in prison. Lizette and Miley both pled guilty to conspiracy to distribute marijuana. Lizette is serving a six-year sentence in a federal prison, but Miley, who cooperated with authorities, only had to serve one month, followed by a year of house arrest. It's changed my life permanently. Drug trafficker, convicted felon, former inmate. But as we've seen over and over and over, the mugshot can be the new headshot. The ankle bracelet, the newest Hollywood accessory. Miley even blogged about it on her website, housearrestgirl.com. And now it's being turned into a book, and Paramount Pictures is making it into a movie. Maybe Miley isn't so naive after all. Lizette Lee has petitioned the court to reduce or vacate her sentence and in an email told us that Miley is a calculating liar who, quote, knew exactly what was going on.